Hi, I'm Dr. Kojin. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to lower your hunger and get rid of your cravings, especially your carb cravings. And this has to do with understanding the three hormones of hunger, which is insulin, ghrelin, and leptin. So this graph shows how these three hormones interact in the body to create hunger and to create fullness. The three hormones are insulin, ghrelin, and leptin. So when we eat breakfast in the morning, your body secretes insulin to lower your blood sugar from your breakfast. So the insulin level goes up. And when your insulin level goes up, the hormone of fullness called leptin is secreted, which signals to your brain, okay, I finished eating breakfast, I'm full. Then two, three hours after you eat breakfast, your insulin level, because there's no more food in the stomach, starts coming down. And the higher the insulin level went up, the lower the insulin level goes back down. Now when the insulin level comes down very low, because it went up very high, the hormone of hunger is ghrelin is secreted. The brain secretes ghrelin and it drives your hunger. So you see, the key to eliminating cravings and lowering your hunger is to decrease your ghrelin level. Ghrelin is the hormone of hunger, and it is triggered when the insulin level comes down very low. So what happens is if someone eats a very high carb breakfast, like oatmeal, it's all carbs, bananas, all carbs and sugar, cereal, mostly carbs, French toast, pancakes, syrup. These are very high carbohydrate content breakfast foods, and they cause a very high spike in insulin level, which results in the insulin level crashing at 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, two, three hours after you eat these high carbohydrate breakfast foods, and then ghrelin is secreted. Ghrelin will drive your hunger so powerful, you'll just eat anything. And so there you go, you eat something again with lunch that has a high carbohydrate content, your insulin level goes back up during lunch, and then two, three hours later, you're hungry again, then because you're hungry, you eat a large dinner, and the cycle keeps going day by day, week by week, month to month, and you don't understand why it's hard for you to lose weight, you don't understand why it's hard for you to eat less. And that's because it's the ghrelin that's driving your hunger. The way to eliminate and decrease ghrelin and your hunger is to eat a meal that's low in carbs, that's high in protein. That causes the insulin to stay flat throughout the whole day. So when the insulin level is flat, because you haven't had a high carbohydrate meal, your body doesn't need to secrete a lot of insulin. So the insulin level stays flat, it stays low. When the insulin level stays low and flat, ghrelin is not secreted because insulin needs to be down here for ghrelin to be secreted. When you eat eggs and when you eat cottage cheese, when you eat low fat peanut butter, or my favorite is called the Power Crunch Bar. It's on Amazon, it's called the Power Crunch Bar. Very low in carb, high in protein. So if you're eating 30 gram carb meals a day for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner, your insulin level will stay flat because 30 grams of carbs is a low amount of carbohydrate. This is eggs and cottage cheese, and this is high protein, low carb meals. The insulin level stays flat, ghrelin is not secreted, and so, you don't have food cravings, you don't have carb cravings, you don't have hunger. Carbs create carb cravings. Carbohydrates create hunger. High protein meals lower hunger. High protein meals lower insulin level. So the best way to eat is protein, vegetables, and berries only for fruit. It is the orange juice and the apples and these types of fruits that are high in sugar and will raise your insulin level and then your insulin level will crash. So protein, vegetables, 
and berries for fruit. Try to decrease your pasta, your bread, the muffins as much as possible because the best way to eat is three meals a day, 30 grams of carbs for breakfast, 30 grams of carbs for lunch, and 30 grams of carbs for dinner. This way, your insulin level will stay flat and you'll have much less hunger and very little food cravings. Thank you.